Steve Nowicki, it's Old Home Week. How, what brings you to a rally? A little bit of cold weather, some ice, some snow, and fast cars. Can't beat it. When you went out to watch the cars yesterday as a spectator, did you get the juices flowing again? Well, I have a little project going on at home, so I came up to take a look, and uh, after three cars going by, I didn't want to stand in the woods anymore. I wanted my feet on the pedals and not on the snow. You you <laughs> miss it? Literally, you've done some road racing. Do you miss rallying? Uh, yeah, I did for a while. I had to step away I had for some business commitments, and uh, now, you know, it looks like it's fun. It's got a good, good crowd of cars, some variety in the cars, which interests me, rather than the... Uh, same old, same old, some really good drivers and competitors. Competition's what drives me, so it might be fun to get back involved again. So we might see you in a car maybe towards the end of this year? I'm planning on having a historic car completed by, uh, let's say, when the uh, the lakes thaw, and uh, try to get that car up and running. It'd be nice to have a car running sometime later in the year. You it's think, you, uh, do you want to say what it is? Or yeah, it's, it? it's, a, it's an old fire arrow, similar to what I had uh, uh, won a couple championships with when I was a younger man. But uh, it would be fun to have a little bit more horsepower in that car and just go out and have some fun. But at the same time, it'd sure be fun to have an all-wheel drive car as well. So I think I think the two-wheel drive is going to be uh, get my, my feet back in the water, the lake with ice, get back in the ice. But uh, let's see what happens.